No bad first off at Loftus Road. We're going to arrive in a bit through the rush hour. Travelled down today. I thought they would have travelled on the Sunday. Anyway, Dean Effect Wigan, nine minutes in. McLean gets the ball, whips it in on the left. And James Burtz makes it 1 0 to Wigan. Good tactics. QPR came on strong defensively. Wigan had it in midfield and defence. Tactics spot on. 25 minutes. A short pass from QPR back to Robert Green. I'm going to have hands up here. McLean runs on to it. Goes down. I was like, penalty, 100%. Clattenburg, yellow card. I thought it was for Richard Green, but it was actually for Jason McLean. When I saw the video back, the replay, he dived. So, spot on decision for McLean. QPR then, after that, just battered Wigan. Wigan really defended strong as they could. It was Cranchar who had the ball just outside the box, smashed it. Looked like it was going in, but brilliant save from Scott Carson. Then a few minutes later, corner comes in. And Charlie Austin rises high, right in with his head. Looks like it's going, but James McLean, he's on the line, clears that away. Sort of nervous tension for Wigan. Then there was a massive injury to Gary O'Neill. I think he's going to have to have something done to his tooth because it was a bad injury. I think the jaw. That gave a lot of injury just on about five minutes injury time. Things slowed down a bit. Then it was James McLean had another shot. He blasted it over. And then Charlie Austin lays the ball off of Kevin Dole. That went wide. So at the moment, it's 1-0 to Wigan. Well, second half... Defensively solid Wigan, and it was actually James McLean who came closest to scoring. Was on through, but a brilliant save from Green. James McLean not able to do anything after that. He hit the post, and the ball went out for a goal kick at all. QPR. But there were a few chances. The best one, I don't know who it was, where the ball flew in, and Scott Carson made a brilliant save. Two chances for Hoylett, but he put them both wide. And then Gary Cadwell gives the penalty away. I'm not sure he won. I didn't see that bit. But he got injured. He was taken off. Then up, of course, steps QPR's top scorer, Charlie Austin, who bangs the ball straight in. The footy cries at 1-1. Then after that, QPR pushed forward. I think a brilliant substitution to bring on Bobby Zamora on and take Kevin Doyle off because Zamora was absolutely brilliant. He had a good chance to um, score for um, QP. He had to get between three Wigan plays, but the ball just on the roof of the net. Joey Barton, he had a brilliant chance to give QPR the only vital win. Another brilliant side from Scott Carson. But I've got to give it to Wigan defensively. They kept their shape. They were solid. They had some good attacks. Nothing to worry QPR too much in that second half except for the James McLean chance. Robert Green having to make another sort of good save. But it wasn't as close for Wigan scoring as it looked. Well, all I can say now, it's extra time. QPR were going to Wembley they won it in extra time bowl over the top from Bobby Samora who's been inspirational when he came on and Charlie Austin well in that position ain't no one beating him he just flicks the bowl in toe punts it uses his studs and put the goal in for 2-1 Wigan gave it everything Brilliant defending in that half an hour from QPR. Wigan's best chance. Hoyler of QPR made a mistake. Q uh, Wigan broke. But a brilliant bit of defending. Stopping James McLean from having a shot. And just at the end, Kieran swung at a shot. Took the deflection, went wide. 
couple of corners, defended well by QPR, ball booted out, game over, QPR going to Wembley, pitch invasion, what a magnificent game of football, um, you got a heart out to Wigan Athletic, five times they failed in the playoffs, but in the end of the day, the best team won. I'm going to say it's very sporting of Queen's Park Rangers to play with 10 men until they brought Bobby Samoa on. Why would you play Kevin Doyle? He is useless. And he wasn't any use for QPR today, was he? Bobby Samoa came on and what a difference he made. Well, who's going to win out of QPR and Derby County in the championship playoff final? You just have to see in 12 days time to find out. Should be an epic game. Anyway, I'm going to tell you my man of the match. I'm going to go for the referee, Mark Cluttenberg. Brilliant refereeing. He, he stopped it for the head injuries. You know, he booked James McLean for that dive in the first half, which I thought was a penalty. And he kept the game nicely flowing, which made for an absolutely brilliant game. That's how you referee a game. Well done, Mark Clattenberg. You're my man of the match. And this has been Pure Football, Matt Graham. And I'm out of here. Good night.